friends and welcome to another makeup graveyard. We are talking about primers, which I have 29 of. I know, don't judge. I'm getting rid of some of them, so we're gonna go through, you know, the huge, the good, the bad, the kind of that I like that I'm giving away. And Puka, once again, is my special little helper. He really loves hanging out in the beauty room and I do not mind it one bit because you're adorable. Okay, so we're gonna get down to business and we will start with this polka dotted little number right here. This is the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 hour primer. Basically, it's like an Elmer's uh, glue stick for your face. You are supposed to section this off. That's the one thing that I can't stand about this product is you are supposed to put the primer on and then foundation that area of your face. And the way that I like to foundation my face is really quickly all at once. I want everything absolutely seamless, completely blended. If you have ever watched any of my makeup tutorials, I spend a long time blending that foundation, blending, blending, blending. Uh, this did not work out for me. I like Bare Minerals products just fine, don't get me wrong, but the primer is a little bit too thick in consistency as far as that silicone feel. It's just a very thick, I'll show you, silicone. You know, it's like sticking, not dripping. It's just kind of thick. Uh, it makes me break out, so I need to say bye bye Another primer that I'm getting rid of is the Stay Matte Primer from Rimmel. I just really did not like the Stay Matte foundation or this. Love the Stay Matte powder. This guy just is too heavy. It just does something to make your skin look very dried out. If you have ultra oily skin, I'm sure this would work great, but for me, it just didn't. Bummer, getting rid of it. This is from Carez. It sounds very promising. It is a wrinkle smoothing, skin perfecting, silicone free, anti-aging primer. I got this as one of my point perks at Sephora and this was just too heavy, too moisturizing. This would be excellent for someone with very mature skin or very, very dry skin. But if you have anything in between, this will be a greasy mess and your foundation will move around quite a bit. So I'm getting rid of this one. The Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Illuminating Serum. I don't even know if they still make this because this is such an old bottle, but I used to be obsessed with this. Amazonian Clay is an ingredient that both hydrates and prevents oil production, so it's perfect for combo skin, perfect for extending the life of your makeup wear. And I love this guy, it has a little bit of shimmer in it. I used to wear it more when I'd have like a really intense tan and wouldn't do too much foundation. Um, haven't used it in a long time and it's probably totally expired, so getting rid of that one. On to the good stuff. Monistat, chafing primer for your face. I love it, you guys have heard me talk about this a bunch. I've used this a bunch. I think it's a fantastic idea to use something very simple, affordable, silicone in texture, and it just makes your skin look amazing. So I do like this. Love my professional. This easily could go in the trash bin because it looks completely used up, but it's not. I'm gonna cut this puppy open and scrape every last little drop out because I use this primer every single day, especially in this area here. I have large pores right here and I just press that primer in there and it blurs everything out. Even if I'm using different primers, I always like to also use this one. This is a new obsession. And actually I'm obsessed with everything from the Perfect line. I got this at Henry Bendel's. I put this in a haul. This is the Perfect Skin Perfection Gel in Rich. Oh my goodness. It gives you the most beautiful beautiful base to work with and it's a little bit bronzy but not orange at all so it just adds a hint of color to your skin which I think is fantastic and it's soft and pretty and just makes your skin look excellent. I'm not sure how much it really extends the life of your foundation wear but I do really love this product so far. I've only been using it for a couple of weeks and there's no way that I am parting with it. Depending on how my skin is, if I am going through an area where everything's really dry, I've been flying a lot, my skin looks like cracked, dry, chapped, not that my skin looks chapped, but you know, like sometimes your skin just looks like, oh my gosh, am I not drinking enough water? The product that saves the day for that situation without making you look like you have dry skin with oil smeared on top of it, because that's not cute either, is the Jouer Anti-Aging Moisture Primer. This has hyaluronic acid, it's paraben-free, silicone-free, hypoallergenic, doesn't make you break out. 
really adds a lot of hydration to the skin, helps your foundation apply more beautifully, and just makes everything feel comfortable. So if you have that dry-ish issue, it's just gonna comfort your skin, but not make it really crazy oily. I've raved about this one in the past for sure. This is probably the most intense primer I own. This is ideally for someone with very, very oily skin to really mattify it and prevent that oil from coming up to the surface. I do like to take this as a spot treatment and I will actually take a small makeup brush, a concealer brush, small, just any small brush, and I'll get around the nose. I might fan it on the T-zone. I might get it right on the chin here if I know I'm going to be around a lot of heat, if I know I'm gonna be moving around and sweating a lot, if I know that I'm going to be in an environment where I think my skin is going to warm up and get very oily, this will shield that issue from happening. However, if you use this everywhere, all day, every day, it will dry your skin out. So be warned of that, but for the occasional situation, this stuff is magic. Something that I am keeping on hand, not for me, but I'm keeping in my kit because when I do my mom's makeup, this is actually my favorite primer to use on her. It is the IT Cosmetics Number no. 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. This has essential oils and peptides and just really nourishes the skin, plumps the skin, preps the skin, and it's fantastic. It's a beautifying treatment. Even if you use it just on its own, it's just so, good to the skin and it just melts right in. So I am keeping this one. Beauty Flash Balm from Clarence. Have I ever even talked about this? I am not 100% sure. I don't use this item all the time, but when I find that my skin is very dull or if I am sick or things just circulation wise are not going well, this is my favorite primer to use. This is the Beauty Flash Balm. It brightens and tightens, which is a great thing really for any day, but especially when you're overtired and things just aren't looking right. This is an excellent primer that smooths, helps your foundation last longer, and just tightens and brightens. It just does exactly what it says it does, and it smells a little bit like heaven. I'm keeping 12 primers. 12 plus 12 is 24. So yes, this time I can actually say I'm getting rid of more than half of my collection. Yes. Puppy dance, puppy dance. Yes, 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 yes. I know you think I'm crazy. Can you please stop judging me? Okay, um, I'm gonna stop being weird with my dog and sign off. I'm feeling good about it. I think I will do bronzers next or powders. Let me know, we're getting it done. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up if you do. And I will see you next time. Bye guys. Mwah.